Okay, time for a workbench update. These are the uh, Fireforge Games Folk Rabble miniatures. I got these last week, I think. Um, it is an 18 miniature boxed set. Um, they are, I don't know if you can see that, but they are not massively detailed, but detailed enough for uh, for tabletop play. I don't really have a plan for these. I just wanted some generic fantasy human miniatures, so um, I picked th this set up um, I would say it's quite a quick paint job so uh, now you get both um, male and female figures or miniatures which is nice yeah so they're just basically generic humans fantasy humans next up we have the uh, Viet Cong that I had a l quick look at a couple of videos ago uh, I bought three sets of the 10. I've only painted 27. These are from uh, Eureka Miniatures. Um, I really liked painting these. They are have loads of detail, uh, much more than the Fireforge uh, miniatures. Um, and yeah, they have a can paint them in a multitude of of, uh, of uh, clothing colors from the all black style that they used to uh, just a mix of uh, green and khaki uniform. The three models that I haven't painted yet are the uh, are these ones. Um, haven't built the base for them yet. Uh, I think I will do that this weekend. So uh, probably paint these during next week. Next up we have the uh, Australian miniatures. Also for the Vietnam War. Uh, these are also from uh, Eureka Miniatures. Um, they, uh, I also bought uh, three sets of these, but I bought. They had uh, three different sets, so actually none of these miniature is a duplicate. It's all all unique ones. Which I like. Um, they, some of them are based on the same base sculpt, but they have their own little individual details. Uh, all of them are painted in in uh, some uniform green with uh, khaki webbing. Um, you have the uh, uh, some. Where is he? Here. Uh, guy with the radio. And where is the other one? Um, <laughs> there is one speaking on the radio. Yeah, here it is. Here he is. Ah, that guy. Uh, maybe should have done this on one big base, but yeah, 
Yeah, these have loads of details, just as the uh, as the Viet Cong had. So, yeah, so that was the um, Australians from Eureka Miniatures. Last up, we have two uh, 15 millimeter scale uh, uh, planes. These are uh, artillery spotter planes. One British and one American. Um, as you can see, these are magnetized. Haven't really decided what to do with the with the bases yet, so uh, I've left them plain for now. Uh, I don't know if I want to do these see-through ones or if I'm gonna do uh, just some sanding and flocking on. These ones. I I don't really know. Good thing with with magnetizing, I could I could do two bases for each. Um, yeah, we'll see. But yeah, so these are just two generic spotter planes.